classically, you'll talk about the front end and the back end, right? And so on our front end, on Tremont, we've done something that we think is pretty innovative. Uh, typically, you, you predict, you, you resolve branches, you go fetch instructions, and then you decode the instructions and you hand them off. Well, in the case of Tremont, we actually have parallel out-of-order clusters that can decode instructions out of order. So every time you've got a branch, which happens pretty often in normal code, we'll go and we'll fetch in data and we'll balance across, across these two clusters, which allows out of order in the front end. Each one of those is a three wide decode. The latency, the throughput of all of those is kind of the same that you get out of a classic three wide machine, except now it goes all the way to six wide. So you have that additional parallelism. We can load balance two clusters, and so you know sometimes one cluster runs a little faster than the other. So absolutely, it's out of order decode, and then we provide those to the back end, and then we put them back in order before we allocate. You've got to have balance, right? Um, so yeah, with that front end, now we get to the back end. So here it's, you know, we can do four instructions per clock. We have 10 dispatch ports. That's, that's, uh, that's a good amount of hardware these days. Once you get a well-balanced machine and you've got a front end that can feed it and a back end that can consume it, eventually the actual number of adders on the die become your bottleneck. And so we've, we've hit that point and we've added more parallelism so okay. that we can extract that inherent parallelism out of the serial code to get good IPC. With three uh, integer execution units, with we've got a jump port, we've got a store port, we've got dual load stores, we've got three pipes on the floating point, that just allows the code to run in parallel. Once we've reached a certain level of performance, you need to do more loads, right? There's a certain amount of, of every program that's loads, and so we've hit that point. And we did it in a little bit different way than, than Core has done. We made it generic. So here we're doing two loads or two stores or a load in a store. And that allows us to have bandwidth for what the workload needs. And getting more loads right. done per cycle absolutely helps IPC at these performance levels. We added more cryptography as well. So SHA, AES, those all see performance improvements because you know encryption is important to all of our customers. For the L2, we made sure that, uh, first of all, we could hook up to Intel's fabrics, right? So they have right. different fabrics for different products, and we made sure we were compatible with all those so we can go into the same infrastructure. That was a very important motivation. And the other thing is that that L2 cache, which we share right. among four cores, uh, goes to four and a half megabytes, but it's scalable, so each product can actually choose the size that's right for its market.